Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. So I'm sure by now you've heard about this Jesse Smollett case, and I've talked about it a little bit before on my channel, I think in a previous video. Uh, and I'm not going to get too hung up on what's being spun into the mainstream media, okay? Uh, this guy is being investigated, right? Jesse Smollett is arrested and faces a felony charge, all right? If you know about this case... Uh, this is going to be review for you. If you don't, this gentleman said that he was attacked by two MAGA hat wearing Trump supporters who yelled racist and homophobic slurs at him uh, while attacking him, uh, poured bleach, a chemical on his face and hung a, a rope or some cordage around his neck. OK, so that was the story. And after, you know, alternative media and the. Chicago PD did a little digging and did some due diligence. They found some inconsistencies and poked some holes in this gentleman's story. Now he's being looked at. He's now the suspect uh, for filing false charges. Okay. And um, don't be surprised if you hear about uh, Kamala Harris or Cory Booker. Okay. Being implicated in this. Um, we'll, we'll get into that. All right. But really what I wanted to talk about initially is that what, what, what we have here is a golden opportunity, right? It's a golden opportunity to show the common person what it looks like when agent provocateurs and bad actors in this case artificially inflame certain rhetoric or they fabricate, you know, divisive and potentially dangerous narratives altogether. And not only that, but, uh, there's anecdotal evidence to suggest Smollett was tapped to spin this uh, web of deceit, okay, by politician level operatives. And that's where, you know, Kamala Harris and Cory Booker come in. Uh, now, I haven't gone down that rabbit hole, so I'm not qualified to speak on this. But again, don't be surprised if you start seeing Kamala Harris and Cory Booker uh, to some degree implicated in this. Now, this, I have no doubts that this gentleman was employed by uh, politician level operatives higher than that, likely, okay, much higher than that. And let's just see how uh, Kamala Harris responds to a question involving uh, Mr. Smollett. Kamala Harris, who needed a minute to think about whether or not she stood by her previous comment that the attack was an attempted modern day lynching. Which tweet? What tweet? Uh, the, about uh, saying that it is a modern day lynching that, um, uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> yes. Jesse Smollett. Um, I, I, okay, so I will say this about that case. I think that the facts are still unfolding, and um, I'm very um, concerned about obviously. What happened with Malay is that she said this was a modern day lynching. OK, they, they initially I mean, it, right, they try to make it a political narrative uh, right off the bat. I mean, and if he lied about this, you have to ask, you know, why was it MAGA hat uh, Trump supporters? You know, why this narrative? So when they don't when they can't spin organic narratives, OK, they fabricate them all together. And this is a golden opportunity to expose some of those people connected in that, because when myself and others in uh, my circle, uh, circles like mine, try to explain to the average person about some of the ways, you know, the nefarious underpinnings of the mainstream media, because the mainstream media was quick to cover this when it was, you know, a hate crime and they were attacking him. Right. Uh, but but now, initially, when the facts were coming out about uh, this being somewhat questionable, his story, they were hesitant. And now they've jumped on the bandwagon, OK, because they're uh, they're whores. Anything that gets them clicks and views. Right. They say they can't stand President Trump, yet he's in their headlines. Right. Because he gets clicks and views, which is why he's been essentially viral since his presidency, because even though the mainstream media says they don't like him, he gets clicks and views. It's the same thing with kind of like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. OK, Um She's not she's not very popular among alternative media and, and conservatives and stuff, but people blow her up. She gets clicks and views. And honestly, I, I wonder how um, how effective it is, because the common person who isn't as well informed in the in the political world and some of the legislation that um, she endorses, they, they don't see faults with her. So they actually uh, jump on jump on her bandwagon. But that's kind of getting off track here. Uh, let's not let this opportunity go to waste. This is a perfect opportunity to show exactly how these narratives evolve. And this he was just caught in a lie. OK, Smollett, he was just caught in this lie. There are many others who are not caught. OK, and you have to ask why this plays right into the race war. This plays right into the civil war, plays right into the divide and conquer. Let's not get distracted about um, 
the the narratives that the media wants to spin from this let's ask why because i don't think they're going to get into that i don't think they're going to ask why he was lying about mog i don't think they're going to press um any of the tangential and anecdotal links to kamala harris i don't think they're going to do that so it's up to you guys to spread this information and do the digging and trust me the information's out there and all i'm doing is saying let's not go to let's let's not let this go to waste to show people how these narratives are artificially inflamed if they can't organically get this out of the people because i think they'd like nothing more than to start a race war a religious war um gender fluids versus gender statics anything like that so they have an excuse to you know implement their own type of totalitarian lockdown i think we know that the military and the government has been pining for some type of scenario we've seen the, with the president alert and the national emergency declarations and the fancy executive orders that become uh, available to the administration let's just think about where this is going let's think about what's happening on the back end why MAGA hat supporters right or why MAGA hat wearing Trump supporters okay what's going on behind closed doors ask that question anyway I'm done rambling take care of yourselves out there